and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you are here today. I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to watercolor oranges. I need you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Go ahead, grab your supplies. All the supplies I'm using will be linked down below. I'm grabbing my jar of water, paints, paper towel, and brushes. Then we can go ahead and get started after I grab my Canson XL watercolor paper. dip it in some water and we can get started. I'm just going to mix the color of orange that is already on my palette and then I'm going to start off by just making a simple circle. That's all this is for the main shape of an orange. It's that easy but remember not a single orange is the same as another. So your circles don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be uniform. They're all going to be great however you do them. Then I'm just going to go around the edges to try and make them as smooth as I can rinse out my brush dab it on a paper towel and then I'm going to make a little highlight on the side of the orange and once your paintbrush is dry it's really easy to pick up and remove that paint so I'm just going to do that and then dab it on my paper towel just to make that highlight on the orange then I'm going to rinse off my brush again dab it on my paper towel and then I'm going to mix a green color and I'm just going to mix that till I have the right shade that I like and a tip is to add purple to your green to make it more natural looking. Once I've mixed my green I'm going to dab it into my orange, make a little stem and then I'm going to add the leaf which is really simple. You just drag your brush in both directions and connect them and then fill it in. Now I'm going to repeat this step over and over again but for this next orange I'm going to do I'm just going to do the bottom half of the orange and then and the next one after this I'll just do a side angle just to change it up and something that I like to do after I've covered this whole entire page with oranges is I like to cut it into greeting cards and they turn out really cute now I'm just going to repeat the same step by making a circle then I'm going to fill that circle in with all of my paint rinse off my brush then I'm going to dab it on my paper towel and I'm going to then take my green paint and add some leaves to these oranges. Now remember, if you do this when it's dry, it's not going to get that really cool bleeding effect. It's just going to be a line. You'll see it later on in the video when I let it dry too long, then it doesn't mix very well. But when you do it when it's still wet, you get wet, sorry, you get this really cool effect. And some of them I add two leaves and some I add one. Then I will rinse off my brush again because you don't want your paints to bleed. Dab it on my paper towel and then I'm going to add some highlights by dragging my dry brush on the orange. And if you're liking this video so far, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below on what you would like to see me watercolor next. I will try and do that as soon as I get some more free time.
right here, this is what happens when your orange is dry and you try to add a leaf, it just doesn't really blend as well. So now I'm going to finish this page of oranges and then we can move on. these oranges and that is it guys I really hope you enjoyed this video I loved watercoloring these it's really relaxing for me and if you like this video remember to like subscribe and watch this video right here and I'll see you in the next one